This is the solution for problem one of chapter one. A researcher is investigating the effectiveness of a treatment for adolescent boys who are taking medication for depression. A group of 30 boys is selected and half receive the new treatment in addition to their medication and the other half continue to take their medication without any treatment. For this study, A states we must identify the population and B states we must identify the sample. To do so, let's go back to the research scenario and underline information that's important. First, we know that we're working with adolescent boys with depression. And we also know that of that group, we're going to select 30 boys with depression to be allocated into these two different treatment conditions. Therefore, we understand that the population, by definition, includes all members of the group of interest. So in this case, that would be all adolescent boys with depression. And the sample would include the 30 boys that are going to be um, given treatment or put into the control group, the group that does not receive treatment. So what I've indicated here, again, n is equal to 30. Recall that lowercase n denotes the size of a sample. Capital N denotes the size of a population. That information was not given, so I did not include that. But here we know that the sample size is equal to 30 boys with depression. And I also included that we are going to allocate 15 to receive treatment, and then 15 are going to be placed in a control group because they will not receive treatment. Finally, I'd like to remind you that any values that represent a sample are referred to as statistics, and values that are coming from the population are referred to as a parameter.